Good morning children. In today's session, I am going to take English for uh, 6th standard. That is from the term 3 portion children. Already term 2 portions are over for you all. So now we have started with the term 3 portion. Unit 1, poem that is Indian seasons. It's a memory poem for you all children. So learn properly whatever I am taking for you. Okay, it's a term 3, unit 1, poem on uh, Indian seasons. Okay. Summer comes in a blaze of heat with sunny smiles and dusty feet. So summer comes in a blaze of heat. That is, in the summer season, start with the intense of heat. Channel. So summer na na mag kabdir ko. Summer na veil kano. Ilye so magnama fulla sweating ay ablo heat arko. So the summer season start with the intense of heat. It is like a bright flame or the fire. India, na wande yepri veil surin na arko na mag na mag pombo the veil na veil na pombo na na mag ablo idwar ko. Sud arko India. So it is like a bright flame or the fire. So the sum summer comes in a blaze of heat. That is the summer season. Start with the intense of the heat and it's like a flame or a fire. With sunny smiles and dusty feet. That is, it brings smiles on the face and makes their feet dusty. And it brings cheerfulness to the people also. So it's a cheerfulness to the people and it brings smiles on the faces. Okay, smiles on the face and it makes their feet dusty. So summer comes in a blaze of heat with sunny smiles and dusty feet. So what is a um, meaning for this? That is a summer season starts with the intense of heat and it is like a bright flame or the fire and it brings cheerfulness to the people though it brings smile on their faces that make their feet is dusty. The seasons change to muddy roads, monsoons and mangoes, Leap frogs and toads. So first para we have finished. So I'll write it on both children. Take down this in your notebook. So after the book comes, you can read from the book. As, as it is a memory poem, take down in your notebook neatly. Okay. Summer comes in a blaze of heat. Summer comes in a blaze of heat. Take down neatly without making any mistakes, children. With sunny smiles. With sunny smiles. And dusty feet. And dusty feet. So this was para. We have finished. Right? Now, next we are going to go. Then seasons change. To muddy roads. That is after a period of time. As the season changes. After a period of time, monsoons bring the muddy roads everywhere. Okay, so the seasons change to muddy roads. That is, after a long time, the seasons start changing, and this monsoon bring the muddy roads everywhere. Monsoons and mangoes, leap frogs and toad. That is, the monsoons cause rainfall. Okay, so the, from this monsoon we get rainfall everywhere, and this mangoes ripe. And they are seen in abundance. Ripe na paritu porthi. Inia. So the mangoes are ripe and are seen everywhere in abundance. In abundance means more. Okay. Because of this monsoon causes rainfall. At that time the mangoes ripe. And we can see these mango, ripe mangoes in abundance or more. Then leaping leap frogs and toads. That is the frogs play in the water and jump high. So these frogs during the rainy season what they do? They play in the water and jump high. Toads hop happily. So they have said leap frogs and toads. That is toads also live happily in the water. So do you understand this children? Then season change. This is the second para. Then season change to muddy roads to muddy roads monsoons and mangoes monsoons and mangoes leap frogs and toads leap frogs leap frogs and toads so what did i say children that is the season starts changing after a period uh, period of time the seasons are changed and monsoons bring the muddy roads everywhere and these monsoons cause rainfall everywhere at this time the mangoes ripe 
and then their mangoes are seen in abundance and seen more and the frogs play in the water and jump high as well as the toads also play happily in the water so these two paras we have finished next spring is pretty but short and sweet that is spring is very pretty with freshness so the spring is seen very freshly with freshness but it is short and sweet when you can smell the grass from your garden seat when you can smell the grass from your garden seat that is the spring is very sweet because its freshness can be smelled from your gardens the spring is very sweet because its freshness can be uh, can be smelled from your garden so spring is very pretty children but short and sweet and you can smell its freshness and it can be smelled everywhere in your garden okay children so this is the third para so this full poem is memory poem for your children okay any one two any two paras i'll give you for your exam spring is pretty take down in your notebook okay english notebook spring is pretty but short and short and sweet spring is very pretty but short and sweet when when you can smell the grass smell the grass from your garden seat from your garden seat okay what did i say children the spring is very pretty but it's very short and sweet and because the spring is sweet its freshness can be smelled from your garden okay next is a autumn is english in red yellow and brown autumn is indian whenever leaves fall down that is autumn is different in the west that is in the foreign countries autumn is very different from the indian autumn that is during the autumn in the foreign what happens the flowers and the leaves of the trees become red yellow and brown they do not shed the leaves okay but in the foreign countries that is in the west what happens the trees and the trees become red yellow and brown but in india during the autumn season leaves fall down okay leaves shed you understand children that is autumn is english this is the last para autumn is english autumn is english in red yellow and brown red yellow and brown autumn is indian autumn is indian whenever leaves fall down whenever leaves fall down now who is author of this lesson of this poem nisha dairen so you have to write the author's name also when you write the poem children okay nisha dairen so she is the author of this poem so once again we'll read out the poem children summer comes in a blaze of heat that is the summer season start with the heat and it is like a bright flame or fire with sunny smiles and dusty feet that is though it brings smiles on their face the feet becomes dusty it makes the feet dusty then seasons change to muddy roads that is after a period of time the season changes and monsoons come in bringing muddy roads everywhere monsoons and mangoes leaf frogs and toads that is the monsoons cause rainfall everywhere ripe mangoes can be seen in abundance and the frogs play in water and jump and the toads also have hop happily around that is can jump happily spring is pretty but short and sweet that is the spring is very pretty but it is short and sweet then when you can smell the grass from your garden seat but it's spring is sweet because its freshness can be smelled from your garden autumn is english in red yellow and brown 
autumn is indian whenever leaves fall down that is autumn is very much different in the west that is in foreign countries there the flowers and the leaves of the trees changes to red brown and yellow but in india when compared to other countries in india during autumn season leaves fall down that is leaves shed down do you understand i've finished understanding this children now we'll just read the poem okay so you can also read along with me children so it will be easy for you to understand and you can write in the notebook summer comes in a blaze of heat with sunny smiles and dusty feet then season change to muddy roads monsoons and mangoes leap frogs and toads so once again i'll read these two paragraphs summer comes in a blaze of heat with sunny smiles and dusty feet then season change to muddy roads monsoons and mangoes leap frogs and toads so there is no comma no apostrophe no full stop children okay so at the last only the full stop will come so there is no it's easy for you all to write spring is pretty but short and sweet when you can smell the grass from your garden seat autumn is english in red yellow and brown autumn is indian they never leaves fall down so once again i'll read children spring is pretty but short and sweet when you can smell the grass from your garden seat autumn is english in red yellow and brown autumn is indian whenever leaves fall down so the author is nisha darin so all the four paragraphs you have to be a thorough children so any two paragraphs first two paragraphs or the last two paragraphs will be written for you will be given for your exam so be thorough with all these four paragraphs so once again we'll read of this spa poem is indian seasons okay what is the name of the poem indian seasons summer comes you can read along with me children till now i think you have um thorough with this summer comes in a blaze of heat with sunny smiles and dusty feet then season change to muddy roads monsoon and mangoes leap frogs and toads spring is pretty but short and sweet when you can smell the grass from your garden seat autumn is english in red yellow and brown autumn is indian whenever leaves fall down the author is nisha darin okay children now uh, they have given read the poem aloud in pairs now we have finished Uh, B. They have given which season am I? Read the poem, understand and solve the riddle. So write this in your notebook after the poem, children. Okay. So after you get the book, you can see the book. What and all it's given in the book. Okay. Then you can take uh, write down in your book also. B. Which season am I? Which season am I? Okay, children, we are going to write now. First, so if you are thorough with the poem, you can say the answer, children. It's very easy. I make the feet dusty. So, which season it is? What we have read in the poem? What uh, season? Yes, summer. summer is a season where you can feel feet the dusty the number 2 frogs and toads frogs and toads will visit when visit when i am there when i am there so frogs and toads when which season they will come children yes during the rainy season during the rainy season next i am pretty short and sweet i am pretty short and sweet so what is our uh, season did we read as it is spring spring 
then next i make your garden i make your garden smell i make your garden smell sweet so what is the season is this yes same spring season okay spring next is leaves will wither because of me wither means shed okay leaves will wither because of me so wither means shed the leaves okay children so what season is that yes autumn so which season autumn season okay children have you taken down in your notebook that is i make the feet dusty what season summer frogs and toads will visit when i am there so what season is that when do the frogs and toads come during the rainy season i am pretty short and sweet so when we are learning in the poem uh, when we read this line children during the spring time so the answer is spring season then i make your garden smell sweet so for this also spring then leaves will wither because of me wither means what i said shed the leaves okay leaves shed because of me that is which season autumn season okay children have you all taken down in this your notebook so i have given the poem which is a memory poem for you all and it's in page number 82 children page number 82 so when you buy the book you can see this page number okay so indian seasons poem it's a memory poem for you all then you have written the b is there down so which season am i i have given that so next you have the read the line answer the questions rhyming words alliteration question answers everything is there so in the next class i'll give you this question answer student thank you